Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about expressions and equations and we'll compare the two of them and I'll try to clear up a few places that sometimes people get confused. All right, for starters I've got um, a uh, definition written for each one. So we'll start, um, an expression is a meaningful combination, we'll talk about the meaningful in a second, of mathematical symbols. Um, and those could include usually the most common ones you see to start off with are numbers and variables and operations and brackets or parentheses. So let's start. Here's a really simple expression right here. So just a simple number, a single number is a perfectly valid expression. Um, you could have an expression that might be like something like h times two plus five. All right, so these ones don't have any variables, but they're definitely expressions. Um, the reason I included the word meaningful, sometimes people use the more technical um, term well-formed. So here's an example of something I think if you look at this, you think, oh yeah, that that doesn't seem right. All right, so this is operations and brackets and numbers, uh, but that that's not doesn't mean anything because of the order that we've got them in. Um, so that's not an expression. Um, often we use the word expression when we have variables. So we could have x subtract three. We could have something a little bit more complicated, like negative 24 times, say, x plus 2 plus 3y, right? So these are four expressions here. Um, sometimes we evaluate an expression. So what that means is you find the value, and it's got the word value in there, we find the value of the expression. Um, to be doing that, to do that, if the expression has variables in it, like these last two, you need to be told the value of the variables. All right. If you just have x subtract 3, you can't tell anybody what that, that is worth unless you know what x is equal to. So I'll do just a little quick example. We could evaluate that one, x subtract 3, if x is equal to 10. Have enough space, so we'll do it like that. All right, so we need to be told that x is equal to 10, and if we do that, then it's no trouble. x subtract 3, we're going to replace our x with 10, and 10 subtract 3 is 7. So if someone gives us the value for the variables, we can do all the calculations and find the um, value for the expression. If we have an expression without variables, of course, we could just we'd calculate what this is equal to already. 2 plus 5, we start with that because it's in brackets, that's 7 times 8, so that's equal to 56. So. Alright, so that's expressions. Let's take a look at equations. Um, an equation is actually a statement. Um, but we don't usually use words. An equation is a statement that two expressions are the same. All right? And usually to indicate that they're the same, we just use the equal sign. Another way of saying this is an equation is a statement that two expressions are equal. All right? So I'll do some examples. Um, this is a nice little equation right here. Oops. Put that upside down. Um, five is equal to 2 plus 3. That's a perfectly good equation, and here's another little one with numbers. We could have uh, 10 plus 4, that's equal to 7 plus 7, because this left side is worth 14, and the right side is worth 14 as well. Um, now we often talk about equations with variables in them, uh, so here's one with variables, 14x plus 15, is equal to 71. And you can have this one here. This is a really interesting equation here. Negative 1 equals x squared. There's all sorts of interesting stuff to say about that. Um, so here are some examples of equations. And something that we sometimes do with equations, I really want to emphasize here, we don't we can just uh, sometimes talk about uh, expressions without evaluating. We don't necessarily want to evaluate. Sometimes we do. Same with equations. Um, we might want to, this line right here, 10 plus 4 equals 7 plus 7, that might be our final answer to some question. Or we might move on from here to something else without showing that those are both 14. 
Same with equations. This might be uh, our final answer to something. That might be what we're aiming for. Or it might not be. Sometimes what we want to do is solve equations if the equations have variables. Um, so what we do when we're solving an equation is we're finding the values of their variables that make the equation true. So that make the two sides equal to each other. So an example here, I'm not going to show you how, you'd, if you were showing someone this, you'd want to write out all your work to justify it. But here the solution, there's only one solution to this equation, and it's x equals 4. If x is equal to 4, then 14 times x plus 15 is equal to 71. So, um, a common place that people get mixed up is just between the evaluating and the solving. If you don't have something with an equal sign in it, you can't tell us what the value of the variable is. It's impossible. It could be uh, anything. If you do have something with an equal sign in it, and it has variables, then there's a good chance you may well be able to solve it um, and to tell us what the value or values of the variables are, is or are, that make it true. All right. Good luck with us.